To grow the individual will to become something. You must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. Status quo is normality. It's, it's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. One person with a belief overrides thousands of people with just intent. I had to crawl my way. I had to lie. I had to break all the rules. And how did I do it? Because I wanted it bad enough. So breaking the rules works. Because these rules are someone else's rules, not the book I wrote. I'm not living that book. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. Luck cannot be in there. Your girlfriend can't be in there. My family can't be in there. You take a guy, you take a guy that can earn a dollar. Forever wealthy. Because no matter what comes, he can grow it back. What is that about? The willpower, the belief, the confidence. And just like you go to the gym and you lift your muscles, right? You have to exhaust them to grow them. Perishable, use it or lose it. Your confidence must be the same way. It must be tested every single day. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Will never be matched. You have to continue to push yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take off. I think I'll be flying in a second here. You're living, man. You're living. That's the greatest high in life. Some people shoot for it. Some people snort for it. I'd rather sweat for it. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. But there is one thing harder than that, my friends. It's later in life. As you look back on your life, the windows of opportunity has closed. Your ability is no longer present. And you think back that you could have been great. What you will do is you will bury that deep inside. You won't tell anyone that you could have been this. You will be second best to your true potential. And you'll live your life fine. But then one of your friends is going to succeed in some endeavor. And you're going to hate him for it. Because his success is a spotlight shining down on your missed opportunity. We all have the ability to do anything. There is so much power in failure because you learn so much from it. And the difference between a champion and someone who's forgotten is that a champion shows up. That's the only thing. Every day shows up. Puts a, gives himself a chance to make a difference. Not sitting back, not making that step, going for it. So in that arena, we get to build things. Now I'm not talking about the body. I'm talking about the arsenal to go to war with. That arsenal are things like integrity, honor, character, discipline, sacrifice, due diligence, sweat equity, to see it through. In the gym, we build that. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tells someone for to stand back up, stand back up, the perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and I'm just like, and I go, if I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. And something will stick, which will never define me. It'll just re-motivate that my tactics work.